Welcome to another Bat News. Check out these prices realized with Heritage Auctions. A coverless Batman number one sells for nearly 30,000 and a point five sells for 42 grand. 324,000 for Detective Comics 168, first appearance of Red Hood. There's a closer look, and it's the first origin told for the Joker. Here's Poison Ivy's first appearance in Batman 181, 1966, and she realizes over 55,000, though uh, that's not a record. This is. Here we have a really rare Mexican edition of Detective 233, first appearance of Batwoman. And here we have these 1943 uh, pages from the Lewis Wilson Batman movie serial from 1963. These came from a magazine. And here we have TV Times, the Bay City Times, October 15th, 1967, Yvonne Craig Backerel. CGC graded. And here we have a 66 Marks Tin Catwoman license plate that recently sold on eBay. And we have a 66 Whitman Magic Slate. There's a handful of these made in 66. On the sides, you can see the Batman weapons. This artwork was also used for the Plastirama Ideal Card Game over in Argentina. And here we have the 1966 Bat Coins by Magic Limited. It's a complete set of 20. I actually prefer the Transigram plastic ones. And here we have a Marx 1966 Batman figure with accessories. This is one of the earliest action figures of its kind. Rare to find them loose. And here we have 1972 solid boxes for the Migos. And um, the figures themselves were pretty beat, but it realized a nice price on eBay. And speaking of Migo, these are the 50th anniversary Batman Removable Cow and Robin Removable Mask. And Superman, this is the first wave. It's nice to see Mego doing this instead of Figures Toy Company who made a boatload off of ripping off their designs. And another Mego related is this Gay Gotham custom carded piece of the 1975 Mego comic action heroes three and three fourth inch figures on a custom card back. Seen this on eBay. And here we have an inflatable Batman figure in package, 23 inches. And I missed this one this Halloween, all the Halloween videos I did. This 66 George Barris Batmobile. And someone produces custom sneakers, and I thought these Robin ones were really, really colorful. Had to share it. And this is actually Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman mask. That's become a regular thing now.